Australian artist Jeanette McLaughlin has made her mark painting in the slums of Argentina. But at the moment she's in Melbourne with an exhibition and Cheryl Hall spoke to her. There's a little flea market that's very close to our house and one day I found these beautiful, beautiful hand-sewn little postcards. I really looked closely and I realised that the person had made the cards, the person who'd written the cards had actually sewn them and they were from the 1920s. That was the beginning of Corrido Alfredo, an Argentinian love story that's now on show in Melbourne. They're obviously, you know, written in Spanish, Corrido Alfredo, donde estas mi amor, you know? And so really the whole letter is saying, there's not a lot in those letters, it's just saying, darling, where are you? I haven't heard from you for ages. Just like the mysterious author of the postcards, Janet McLaughlin, or Jano, is also a sewer. The details of her artwork are sewn into the canvas, a time-consuming task which has helped her connect with the community where she currently lives, Buenos Aires. She employs local women to do the sewing on much of her work. If you sit people down in a circle and give them something to do with their hands, like sewing, you start to talk about life and it always comes back to love on some level. So I'm intrigued with that notion and on another level, the sewing, the thread for me was like, I'm helping them, they're helping me. Because if I didn't have people helping me sew on the paintings, it would take me one year to do one painting, because each little flower it would take me an hour to do each one. A horse, that's right, he's riding a horse. Another common theme in her artwork is her autistic son, Jazzy. Jazzy is totally in this show. He's a very vulnerable little boy. He can't really speak. Bringing that whole idea of making a safe world, and then I've always used metaphors in my paintings, and so the elephant is always in my painting. Somewhere there's an elephant, and sometimes that's Jazzy, sometimes it's me, you know, sometimes it's one of my other little boys, but it's, you know, the animal of burden, looking for a place, an endangered species in a way, looking for a safe place to be and to grow. Jano has become well known in Buenos Aires for doing what many Argentinians won't do, going into the slums to paint. In Australia, you are so used to everyone, we are all equals regardless whether we're rich or poor. My Spanish was atrocious and so I didn't go in there with a, a well-educated Spanish accent, so I'm going in there as a smiley person with lots of beautiful colours, paint, you know, so I'm speaking caveman. So I think it sort of endeared them um, to accepting us in a little way. Jano has travelled across the country with other artists and expatriates, painting murals in slums, schools and women's refuges. The whole idea was just to give a bit of hope and colour and stupidly we thought we are just going to go and paint a few murals. I just remember this little headmistress waddling up to me with big arms and gave me a big kiss and she said, oh, we, we told you that there were just three murals to paint because we wanted to get you here, but you've got the whole school. We want the whole school painted. I'll mark it up really fast, give you all a paintbrush. If a kid comes along, just go paint this in there. Jano says she struggles to come to terms with a sometimes corrupt culture. She's currently being sued by three girls who live in her house and she feels betrayed. Total blackmail because it coincided with, I'd been getting some uh, press from Buenos Aires in lots of the design magazines. I did come a big cropper with that, with them suing me and it's still going on, so I feel really stupid. <laughs> so, but I'm still doing it and I just go, what is, and I thought I was quite a bright girl. <laughs> 